Now you've seen what I do when I make things. Uh, use a resin printer, use an FDM printer. Um, I am now going to give you a review of the Creality CR10 V2. So I've had a Creality CR10S for two years, and recently I got uh, sent a 10V2, which is the newer version of the Creality CR10. And uh, now that I put it through its paces over the last several months, I have some things to say about it. First of all, this is a great upgrade. I think that uh, what they've added into this is really taken the 10S up to the next level because the system just works. Um, one of the main complaints with the, the, any of the Creality's, any of the Chinese made uh, 3D printers, FDM printers, the filament printers, um, beds are never level. This one, not a problem. My 10S, I had to get uh, some mirrors from Lowe's and that worked well for me. A little bit of uh, glue stick on it and then most things stuck. This has a new bed that is, it's great. It sticks, almost everything sticks to it. The only problems I've had spaghetti wise have been things that were, you know, a 12, 14 hour print I ran that just, it got knocked off and went crazy and I still was able to salvage it. Um, it's fantastic the way that the bed works. The adhesion is fantastic. The only drawback I have to that is that with my 10S, I can do a print, knock it off, do another print and I'm good to go. With this new bed that they have on the V2, you have to let it cool down and the parts just pop off. I'm gonna uh, now switch over to um, a video of the printer in use and we will uh, discuss more from there. Okay, so here we are with the uh, CR10 V2. Some of the nice upgrades that Creality has done, let me just point something out here. The crossbars, which used to be a, you know, something you would add yourself, you buy some third party one at them, they're included. It gives really great stability to the system, especially when you're going higher or you're doing a lot of fills in. It's, uh, it's a handy upgrade. Um, also, the hot end has changed and uh, the control box has changed uh, as well. Now, you still have the problem with the fans. Um, I have this running in my office, so it's not quite so bad. It's not something I'd like to run in, you know, some people are printing in their bedrooms. I would never do this. It's, the fans go crazy after a while, but it's neither here nor there for me. I, uh, if I'm doing a large print overnight, I'll just leave it be and it's my office. So, and even during the day I'm working, I, it's just fans running, but the fans still are an issue. One thing I have found though is the power supply, I guess has been upgraded because it is a whole lot better for heating up. Normally on my 10S uh, to get to, I print PLA. So I'm doing 60 degrees on the bed and about 200 degrees on the hot end. And that works out really well for me, for the stuff I'm using. I find that with my 10S uh, takes about five, six, seven minutes to get everything heated up. With the V2, less than four. So give me 60 degrees on the bed. Okay, give me one, uh, 200 on the, uh, on the extruder. Okay, on the hot end. Done. So really, really quick on that. And then, like I say, it prints really well. So here's some of the things. Here's, uh, as I've shown this before, but here's the Benchy. This is using the uh, Flash Forge. And gorgeous, gorgeous print. Like even the, you can see the Creality logo on the bar, or the CT3D XYZ logo on the bottom. So the other things I've printed, uh, Star Trek badge because, well, you know me, I'm a tracker. And this I did. I'm doing another version of this. I showed off my uh, EFC Global, uh, the one I'm using. Uh, I'm showing off full uh, as an open. And I have this one, which I've just printed, which I'm going to make a static closed one. Uh, and that is like, that's raw. That's unfinished. That's just right off the printer. And uh, the lines are really great. So eventually that will just be a, a static prop, which I'll just you know, clip on the belt. Do I think this is a good upgrade? Um, if you have a 10S and you've got it tuned in, I don't know, I don't know. I have both. I wanted to be able to print at home and print in the office. So I think if I was starting out, yeah, V2, definitely go with that. Uh, the 10Ss are getting a little long in the tooth, but with all the mods you could print for it, like I've got a, I've got a Fang mod and I've got a few things I've printed for it. You know, I've got it working the way I want it to work, and I figured it out how to do print well by using the, you know, the glass, the mirror, and everything else. 
And then this bed here, also um, I do like the fact that the clips is better. It's not just alligator clips or whatever, whatever those clips are called, um, binder clips. It actually is nicely secured on. Um, I like this, I like this. Uh, at the price point you're getting it from, um, definitely would uh, would recommend it. Now the place I get the, my stuff from uh, in Canada is a place called Mac Solutions, which is always a, a fun because I first met them and I'm Mac Solutions and they're Mac Solutions. So th they do uh, remember me. They've asked me to, to partner up with them. So this is uh, something I'm looking into. Um, so that's really what I have to say about that. Um, am I happy with the printer? Yes, yes, deliriously. Yes, it's it's a great printer. It's working out really well for me. Uh, the only problem I have is I don't have enough filament. I'm running out pretty quickly. I'm printing a lot. Like my friend Chris. Uh, Chris has got a printer. He got an Ender, and he's just every time I see him, he's printing something, printing something, printing something, and uh, yeah, having fun with it, obviously. So um, if you want more information, uh, check in the link below. I'll have some uh, details for Mac Solutions if you want to get something from Henry and Edward. Uh, great guys, great guys. Um, uh, I I think it's a nice. Um, printer if you're looking to get into it. If you already have one, eh, think about it. But definitely it is something I would recommend. I really have enjoyed Creality over the last two years. It came pretty well recommended and now I can see why. So that's it. Uh, I did it again. Hi Dave from DCBFX. Uh, really got to remember to do that. I should write myself a script or something. So this is Dave signing off. I uh, hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you all on Monday.